Hello everyone and welcome back to 123 Geek and today we're going to be going over the two best ways to get your information off of your hard drives and clone to another drive for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So let's get started. everyone and again welcome back to 123 geek if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button and please give me a thumbs up uh, but we're gonna be going over the two best ways to clone your hard drives over to a larger hard drive uh, for your Xbox your PlayStation and your uh, your PC uh, I personally do it for PC but um, nonetheless we're gonna go ahead and dive into this so, uh, number one, the number one best way, in my opinion, is through hardware. Uh, and what I mean by that is there are several different docking stations, but there is one that I know uh, that works very, very well. That docking station is the uh, WAV link, or W-A-V link. Um, and what it does is it has two docking, it has two docking station ports on it, which allow you to put in a source drive and a uh, and a destination drive or a target drive and in this situation what you get is you're able to actually just have a simple button press to clone the drive completely over to a new hard drive now the upside to that is that all you have to do is pop out your hard drive from from your playstation or your xbox uh, or your pc uh, throw it into that source drive and then put a larger drive into the target section and uh, hold down a button and uh, press it one more time and it will starts copying over and takes about maybe about an hour uh, depending on how large the drive is. Now uh, the thing with the WAV link is it actually allows you to uh, to either use uh, your software on your computer and, or you can just use the uh, the the uh, you know hardware itself without having to plug it into your PC. So that's a major that's a, that's a great thing, especially if you do a lot of it. If you do it for friends, if you do it for you don't always have to log into your computer. You could just throw it in, get it cloning, and move on with your life. And and that's one major thing that I really like about it. So. Uh, this particular docking station, when I bought it, was $30, and uh, it might be up to $40 now, but it's it's a great little docking station. Um, I, like most, it's actually made in China. It's actually produced in China. Everything is, uh, you know, everything like the the so like there's no software with it. So uh, the instructions are in China. They're not in Chinese, but they're, you know. Uh, not in the best English, so there's some uh, interpretation that you need to put into place. However, using this particular uh, docking station, you can use it on your PC. Uh, I per personally use uh, Ezus uh, Partition Master Pro, and this allows me to clone that way. Uh, no button presses on the docking station itself. Now that's the second way to do this, is software related. Now, as far as software is concerned, like I said, I use Ezus uh, Partition Master Pro, and this is really quick. You can also check the drives for uh, bad sectors. You can, uh, you know, just go to clone and clone it over. Uh, you can wipe the drives. Whatever you need to do, if you need to partition the drive, whatever the situation is, uh, it will. You have those options there. Now, uh, that's why I kind of go with the. Uh, the, you know these two methods and, and one of the major reasons behind that is that uh, both of these are extremely simple uh, you don't have to have any technical experience or understanding um, they're plug-and-play ready to go and it's really easy it's really simple so I'll go ahead and I'll show you uh, ease us and uh, you know the process on that right here on the screen so as I said, um, you can actually uh, see all of your hard drives that are on your machine. You can see all of the hard drives that are on the docking station. Um, and actually all you have to do is press the clone button, uh, select your, uh, your drive that you're going to copy over, and then you're going to go ahead and select the 
the next uh, drive that you're going to be copying to. Um, and uh, it's really that simple. So that was Ease Us. That's exactly, that's how easy it is. That's how simple it is. You don't really have to do much of anything. Um, you press a button, you clone it over, you get it ready to go. And this one is, I believe, they say on their website, it's, uh, it's $60, but immediately they take $20 off, uh, bringing it down to 40. Um, and, uh, you know, honestly, it's probably one of the best purchases that I've ever made. Uh, if you're planning on using this as a business, um, there's a business license. If you're planning on using it as just a standard user, uh, it's Professional Pro, um, and it's really simple. Um, if you have a way that you have done this already in the past, um, or that you're planning to do this, or, you know, maybe I've given you some new ideas or some insight, Please, you know, throw those in the comments below and tell me what you think uh, is the best way. What are your ideas for cloning over a drive that's so extremely simple that is kind of foolproof? Uh, if you have any questions, put those in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. It, and if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, please hit the bell icon. Please hit that thumbs up or, uh, you know, whatever, thumbs down, your choice. Uh, but please, you know, just let me know what's going on and don't forget to hit, like I said, the bell icon because that way you'll be notified uh, when I will be putting out something new. If you know anybody that is looking to clone uh, that in from, you know, their, their drives, please send them my video so that they can see a simple way to do this. Uh, once again, thank you so much for stopping by 123Geek. Have a fantastic week.